Hello, this is Tony Heller from RealClimateScience.com. NASA has a new study out predicting the demise of corn as early as the year 2030. Corn yields are projected to decline 24%. That sounds really bad. I eat corn every day and I love popcorn. We better look at the data and see what's going on. The data from Oxford University shows that corn yields have increased by 500% over the last 80 years. Corn yields are increasing in a hockey stick which very closely matches the rise in atmospheric carbon dioxide. This graph shows atmospheric CO2 and you can see that the sharp rise began just about the same time when the corn yields began to increase. Let's look directly at the relationship between corn yields and atmospheric CO2. This graph plots atmospheric CO2 on the x-axis and corn yields on the y-axis. You can see that there's excellent correlation as carbon dioxide increases, corn yields increase with it. Precipitation in the Corn Belt has also increased over the last 120 years. This graph plots Corn Belt precipitation on the x-axis and corn yields on the y-axis. There is some correlation between the two, but it's nowhere near as good as the correlation with carbon dioxide. Now let's look at temperature trends in the Corn Belt over the last 120 years. Afternoon temperatures in the Corn Belt peaked during the 1930s and have declined over the last century. The frequency of hot afternoons in the Corn Belt has also declined sharply over the last 120 years. The hottest summers occurred in 1936 and 1934 during the Dust Bowl. During July 1936, temperatures in the Corn Belt were 10 to 12 degrees above normal. The heat and drought of the 1930s in the Midwest made it impossible for millions of people to live, and they fled to California as climate refugees. Fortunately, the heat and drought of the 1930s is gone, and now the Corn Belt is looking quite good. NASA satellites show that carbon dioxide fertilization is greening the Earth. If NASA climate scientists still remembered their primary school education, they would have understood that carbon dioxide is extremely beneficial to plant life. Over a hundred years ago, Scientific American did an experiment where they showed a huge increase in crop yields if carbon dioxide levels over the plants were increased. This new forecast from NASA about declining corn yields is complete garbage and has nothing to do with science. The people from NASA with the right stuff who took us to the moon are sick and tired of this sort of junk science coming out of NASA climate. Ten years ago, 49 astronauts and scientists from the Apollo program wrote a letter to the NASA administrator. They blasted the agency for making unwarranted claims about the role of carbon dioxide in global warming. Most people are fundamentally honest, so it's difficult to grasp the spectacular level of incompetence and dishonesty in studies like this one. Toto's been pulling back the curtain on these crooks and frauds at government agencies and in the press for the past 14 years. You can visit him, Kyrie, and Caesar on the web at realclimatescience.com.